Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I want to wish you all a happy Easter. Today is Easter. For those of you that will see this tonight, it's still Easter. If you see this tomorrow, it's the day after Easter. But I want to tell you, when I was a little girl, and we went to church, we went to church every, every Sunday, but we always went to church at the 8 o'clock Mass. So can you imagine getting six children out of bed, dressed in their Sunday clothes, getting into a car, and there was eight of us. There was no car seats, no seat belts. There was bench seats in the cars, and we all fit. And if there, as we got bigger, we still fit. I used to sit in the front seat with my parents because I got car sick real easy. So um, my sister Lucy would be on my mom's lap, I would be in the middle, and then my father, and then in the back there'd be Joey, Lori, Anthony, and Anita would be in the back seat. So we all fit in the car. Today, I'm lucky if I can get five people into my car. The front seats have bucket seats now, and the back has only a spot for three people, and that's all the seat belts that you have. I have you a better, small car. You better be a little person to be in the middle. Yeah, and you too. better be a little person is right. because. They don't give you much room. The old cars used to have a lot more room. Well, when we'd go to church, we would always walk in from oldest to youngest, and then my mom and dad would be last. They always sat next to each other. You've seen parents where the father is on one side and the mother's on the other side and all the kids in between. Well, no, we they sat side by side, just like Jim and I sat side by side. Um, the kids would go in and... Um, if there was a tiny one, they might be with us. We might be holding them now and then, but we sat next to each other because you know why? He wanted to hold my hand. <laughs> I don't think my mom and dad held hands, but he used to hold my hand. And it was kind of nice because that was the one time that I knew my hand was going to get held for sure. And um, <laughs> he's laughing <laughs> And I didn't know what I was going to talk about. So sorry. It just it went that direction. <laughs> okay. Well, I was going to talk about when I was little. And when it got to where I'm grown and our kids. But anyways, it would be Joey, Lori, Anthony, Mary Grace, Anita, and Lucy would be in the seat. And then my mom and dad would be in the seat. And we all fit. There was eight of us in that pew. And you know what? Darn it all. Every time we went in, I was the... One that always got the darn split in the kneelers because the kneelers go just so far and then there's a split and then it's the other kneelers and I always had the split kneeler. I used to hate that. And then as um we got older, I still had the split kneeler. <laughs> it seemed like I had it forever. And um, then uh, we, my dad would always, on Easter Sunday, we always wore our hat. We always wore white gloves. And sometimes we wore a winter coat, and sometimes we wore a lighter coat, depending on the weather, because it could be, we could have snow on Easter. But we always had a hat on our head. And my dad would buy a corsage for my mom, and he would buy a corsage for all three of us girls. So we all wore a corsage to church on our coats, and it was really very, very nice. That was one time that you knew you were going to get a corsage. And then we'd come home, and we'd look for our Easter baskets. And you know what our Easter basket was? It was a coffee can covered with aluminum foil. And um, in that coffee can, we would always have colored eggs, because we had colored eggs, and the Easter Bunny always took our eggs. But we never could find the um, Easter things before church. It was always there after. Even if you looked for it, it wasn't there. And my kids, now I can jump to my kids again. <laughs> i got to go back and forth because it, we, we're connected. And my kids, I would when it was time for us to go to church, now we went to church for 8.30 Mass. 8:30. Mass was a little bit later, so we got to go to 8.30 Mass. And I always was the last one to leave the house. Well, even on Easter, I was the last one to leave the house. The kids would be looking for their Easter baskets before church. They could never find them. And we'd go to church, and when we'd come back, there would be the Easter baskets. And they could never understand where those Easter baskets came from. Well, I'm not telling you. 
Easter Bunny. Came Easter home Bunny home. brought them. I don't want to say where they came from because what if my kids watch this and I'm sure they know the truth by now. But if they don't, I'm not spoiling it for them. So um, the Easter Bunny came, and my grandkids, their Easter Bunnies came, and no Easter Bunny came to my house this year. No. Nope. Usually, the Easter Bunny comes to my house and leaves. Um, at least a community basket. It takes one of my baskets from upstairs and it fills it with candy. There is no candy in my house. And other years he has actually brought gifts for the um, for the um, my kids and my grandkids. He's brought he has for all of them, and they had to come here and search for them because hey. The Easter Bunny comes here just like La Bafana comes here because I have kids' toys here. But this year I didn't get anything from the Easter Bunny. So I wonder if you got anything from the Easter Bunny. Hopefully you did if you're a child. If you're an adult, well, we don't really need that. You can make your own candy out of cooking morsels <laughs> <laughs> like I do. And then the 60% cacao, or yeah, mm -hmm. cocoa. Cacao. 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 60% cacao. Well, anyways, that is the Easter story. Um, and we always sang songs. Did you ever sing the songs of Easter? We'll go on a little bit more. We used to sing, Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. We used to sing that one. And then we used to sing, In your Easter bonnet, with all the frills upon it. I used to think that my mother was going to get an organ, a real organ, one that you could play, like a piano organ, you know, that kind of organ, but it was an orchid. <laughs> I always thought it was an organ for years. I really thought that's what she was getting, and I thought, gee, I wish I could get an organ, because I really, really, really wanted a piano in the house, and it wasn't until I was 16 that we got the piano, but I'm glad we got it when we got it. And then when my parents moved in with me, I had a piano, so I gave the piano that my parents had, which is a really nice piano. I had um, my sister Anita take it home. My mother was a little bit, um, she wasn't, she was losing her mind, really. She was, she had Alzheimer's and dementia, and she didn't want, she wanted me to have the piano. I said, I don't need the piano. I have a piano, but Anita doesn't have one. Lucy has one, but Anita doesn't have one so let's just give it to her because it can't stay in the house the pianos need to be in um, climate controlled or at least heated or heated a little we had heat in the house but it was not real warm and when if you have a piano you want to put it on a inside wall because the um, cold air and coldness of the walls will actually put your piano out of tune or change it to where it's not tuned correctly. So we gave that piano to Anita and my piano I had for a long time and then just recently I gave it to my daughter so my grandkids can learn to play if they wish to play. So that's, I guess, that's it. We've talked about Easter and the piano and songs and corsage and the Easter Bunny and now we're going to say goodbye. I hope you had a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.